An aviation transponder interrogation mode is the format of a sequence of pulses from an interrogating secondary surveillance radar or similar automatic dependent surveillance broadcast system. The reply format is usually referred to as a code from a transponder, which is used to determine detailed information from a suitably equipped aircraft. In its simplest form, a mode, or interrogation type, is generally determined by pulse spacing between two or more interrogation pulses. Various modes exist from mode 1 to 5 for military use, to mode A, B, C and D and mode S for civilian use. Interrogation modes Several different RF communication protocols have been standardized for aviation transponders. Equals mode A and mode C equals when the transponder receives an interrogation request it sends back a transponder's squawk code. This is referred to as mode 3A or more commonly mode A. A transponder code can be paired with pressure altitude information, which is called mode C. Pressure altitude is obtained from an altitude encoder, a separate self-contained unit mounted in the aircraft. The altitude information is passed to the transponder using a modified form of the gray code called a Gillam code. Mode 3A and C are used to help air traffic controllers to identify the aircraft on a radar screen and to maintain separation. Equals mode S equals. Another mode called mode S is designed to help avoiding over-interrogation of the transponder and to allow automatic collision avoidance. Mode S transponders are compatible with modes A and C SSR system. This is the type of transponder that makes the ACAS2 and the ADSB systems function. The format of the messages is documented in ICAO DOC 9688, Manual on Mode S Specific Services. Mode S Features Upon interrogation, Mode S transponders transmit information about the aircraft to the SSR system, to TCAS receivers on board aircraft, and to the ADSB SSR system. This information includes the call sign of the aircraft and all the transponder's permanent ICAO 24-bit address in the form of a hex code. Equals ICAO 24-bit address equals, mode S equipment on aircraft are assigned a unique ICAO 24-bit address or mode S hex code upon national registration and this address becomes a part of the aircraft's certificate of registration. Normally, the address is never changed, however, the transponders are reprogrammable and, occasionally, are moved from one aircraft to another either by maintenance or by changing the appropriate entry in the aircraft's flight management system. There are 16,777,214 unique ICAO 24-bit addresses available. The ICAO 24-bit address can be represented in three digital formats, hexadecimal, octal, and binary. These addresses are used to provide a unique identity normally allocated to an individual aircraft or registration. As an example, following is the ICAO 24-bit address assigned to the shuttle carrier aircraft with a registration N905NA, hexadecimal AC82EC, octal, 53,101,354, binary, 101011000100110110100. Decimal, 11,305,708. These are all the same 24 bit address of the shuttle carrier aircraft, represented in different digital formatting. Issues with Mode S transponders One major issue with Mode S transponders is that pilots have frequently been entering the wrong flight identity into their Mode S transponders. In this case, the capabilities of ACAS 2 and Mode SSSR can be degraded. Extended Squitter. In 2009 the ICAO published an extended form of Mode S with more messages formats to use with ADSB. It was further refined in 2012. References